He's worried that he's going to be forced out of his home in retirement. I, this is... <laughs> All right, so let's read this. I feel, I just feel bad, man. I literally, I feel bad for people who have this, this constant fear. It's, I just, it's, it's evil that has been permeated on us by the financial media. It's all there is to it, dude. It's evil at this stage. It's, uh, all right. So he is my man, Tim, all right? Call him Slim Tim. So Slim Tim writes in, Josh, I hope you can help me with this. In many of your videos, you state that folks in retirement don't spend as much money later in retirement. Yet I've been, I have, yet I have to keep updating my spreadsheets for cost of living based on the rise of most things. Take, for example, taxes, food, energy. All these rise, even if you use them in the same or less. All my food costs have risen dramatically, and even though I've cut back, it still doesn't lower the cost to put food on the table. All right, well. We'll address that in a separate thing here in just a second, but I want to talk about this. I live well within my need, my means. I don't have debt. I use my credit cards for my purchases. And I pay them off at the end of the month. I own both my vehicles. My home is paid. Yet I can't escape the feeling that I might be forced out of my home because of costs I have no control over. So am I missing something when you state that costs will go up for later retirees if they cut back on things? All right, so did you hear this? He lives well within his means. Right? He's got no debt. But he can't escape the worry that he might be forced out of his home. Oh, for the love of all that is good. I cannot believe this. So he's like, but Josh, you say costs don't go up. No, no, that's not true. I don't say there's not inflation. I don't say that at all. What I say is, as you get older, your expenditures drop because you don't do things like you don't go to the minor league baseball games. You don't go for a travel. You don't buy new vehicles. You don't buy new apparel. If you're already down there where you're not traveling, you're not buying apparel, of course the day-to-day -day costs are going to go up for things like food. That, I don't, and energy, that's one of the reasons we got to go to nuclear and get rid of those green idiots. But no, I don't say costs don't go up from your baseline. I say what happens is your baseline drops, dude. That's what literally what I'm talking about in my book is I, the baseline significantly drops. So, and what I say in, and I prove it using the data from the uh, BLS, the Consumer Expenditure Survey. Is that if you see, you see, oh my goodness, you need 80% of pre-retirement income, and then your expenditures just drop like a brick in water. It just, and I'm not going to get into it here, but what happens is it is. But you still have a baseline expenditure. The issue is that they're all told us that our baseline expenditure for retirement is way up here when you're 55 and 60. There's just no evidence of that at all. The evidence is the exact opposite. Is that your baseline expenditure is really just what this guy says. Energy, food, and taxes. I can't imagine you have many taxes there, guy. I mean, maybe you have some property taxes, but on that, I bet your property taxes haven't gone up, you know, freaking nearly as what you think either. Either I, I mean, I, I can almost assure you that's the case. We have a guy here in Cherokee County said, my taxes went up 50%. You're saying there's no inflation? I said, all right, property taxes, how much you pay? 3000 bucks a year? All right. Uh, relative to what OER is for CPI. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I'm not going to get that here either. But I had another guy by channel said, cash is trash. You lost 9% of your purchasing power last year. I said, oh, based on what? He goes, CPI. I said, yeah, that's what I thought. Anyway, so the issue here is this: two things come out. He sees his, he keeps updating his spreadsheets first and foremost. Why do that to yourself? What good does it do? Literally, what good does it do? <laughs> Just... I mean, you can keep a track of your energy bill. That's fine. But it's not going to change anything. You still got to pay it. Your electricity, your freaking, you know, cost of uh, your water bill. You still got to pay it. <laughs> I just want... Uh, but your food is going to rise, yes, as inflation. That is true. But not all the time. This year has been bad. I don't deny that. Oh, wait. What are the price of eggs now? Oh, they're down. They're down. So are we in deflation now because the price of eggs are down from last year? <laughs> and I'm not making light of it. I just, I sit there, the guy saying he's well within his means, he has no debts, and he's still worried about being put out from his house. I can't believe this, dude. I can't believe it. 
the price of eggs go up, yeah, they go up, absolutely. The price of food goes up. Well, there's a couple of things you can do about that. You can you know, raise your own chickens if you want. I probably won't do that. I'm kind of lazy. I'll probably just buy. But you can always buy your own chickens. Um, you can raise certainly raise your own food. I mean, potato is easy to grow. Um, not hard to do. A million different ways you can reduce costs, but you're already well within your means. So you have more income coming in and going out. Finny. Finny. Oh, look at him. He's like that. So I, I don't get the fear. And then the worst case scenario, you already have your house. Take reverse mortgage, dude. Jeez. Oh, this is I'm worried about later retirement. Hey, hey. So let me just go go over here with Finney. Come here. So he's like, later retirement, I'm gonna be destitute. And I have this fear of losing my home because of cost increase. I, dude, I don't know what to tell you, man. If you're already well within your means and you have no debt, uh, I think you're way over worrying about this. I really do. And uh, I, I just don't, there's nothing else for me to say in that regard. I just think this is nuts that they've so trained people to fear this, that, uh, that people have this fear. I don't get it, man. But all right, I'll do your thoughts. We'll see you.